Good morning and welcome to the African Utility Week studio. My name is Amy Ryan and today I have with me Joy Ditto, who is the President and CEO at the Utilities Telecommunications Council. Welcome Joy. Thanks for having me. We were talking about um, your key message to attendees at African Utility Week this year. Um, what do you have to say to utilities, governments um, and other attendees at the show? So I think you know, Africa is in a unique position in terms of building out its utility infrastructure and it's yeah. still in the middle of doing that in, in many countries in Africa. And I think one of the key messages I would say to utilities is, um, and, to, and to governments who are in partnership with utilities in many cases, is that technology, especially information and communications technology, is a critical component of building out utility infrastructure. And, it, and I think Africa has a unique opportunity to build that out in conjunction with the utility infrastructure. Yeah. And enabling that type of technology is going to solve some of the, the issues, the economic issues that, that Africa has. And really, I think, um, be, but because we're sort of at the beginning stages in some cases of building out that infrastructure, it's a, it's a unique opportunity to use the new technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I would just send that message. It's a great opportunity to work with the new technology. And I would say the Africa Utilities Technology Council brings people together who understand the technology, the ICT technology. Yeah. And we have a global presence in, in North America, in Latin America, and in yeah. Europe, and can really bring in globally people who know and understand those technologies and that can help um, people in Africa, in yeah. various countries in Africa. Okay. Do you want to maybe expand on some of your current activities um, at the mm -hmm. UTC at the moment, or the AUTC, um, and some of the organization's current activities in Africa? Absolutely. So the organization was just launched about 18 months ago in Africa, and we have a presence in Johannesburg in South Africa. We have only about eight members right now, so we're, okay. we're in a building mode. But um, Eskom is one of our key members, and so we're really uh, what AUTC does is we provide that um, expertise on information and communications technology through peer-to-peer -peer relationships, through um, uh, white papers, analysis, case studies, and also, um, so that's kind of where we are with Africa. In other parts of the globe, we also provide advocacy okay. for um, these types of policy issues, like what you do need in this space when you're deploying wireless technologies, you need access to spectrum. Yeah. And that is applicable worldwide. All utilities who are deploying these types of technologies need access to spectrum, and there are major policy issues around that. So one of the things we will be doing in the future is just deciding what you know what the needs are in Africa in terms of those types of policy issues and yeah. how we can be um, informing governments about the, the needs of utilities in, in that space. So that's something we're building on, and we'll be working with our members in, in terms of what that engagement looks like. But right now we're uh, again providing some technical perspective and the peer-to-peer -peer networking, and then also bringing in people from other parts of the globe who have some expertise in this area. Okay. Um, the UTC currently held its annual conference last week. Um, can you tell us about um, some of the key discussion points or yes. something that was um, maybe some interesting conversations that you've had um, and then perhaps how um, these can be applied to Africa? Absolutely. I think the key thing, actually, that I heard last last week at our yeah. conference, and actually I've heard a, a bit here, yeah. is really about the relationship with the customer. Okay. Uh, so utilities traditionally uh, have had a, a more passive relationship with the customer. Mm -hmm. Utilities obviously care about providing reliable, safe yeah. electric service, and they do that worldwide. Um, but the, the relationship with the customer has previously been maybe more just interacting with them about their bill, you yeah. know, a monthly yeah. interaction. And as technology has evolved, uh, especially in the area of distributed generation like mm -hmm. solar, yeah. customers really want more understanding of their energy usage. They want to be more involved. Uh, they want to understand more what they can, how they can impact 
uh, their energy usage and their relationship with the utility. And that is going to require a lot more interaction with customers. Yeah. And here in Africa, I think that's, again, there's a real opportunity for um, that customer engagement, that grassroots customer engagement as infrastructure is being built out. Yeah. Right? How, how can you use, for example, solar technology you know, to really bring the infrastructure to people who don't have it, bring electricity to people who don't have it. Yeah. Um, but that's going to require that conversation with yeah. what are the needs. And technology can really yeah. help in that conversation. But also, um, utilities need to hire even more traditional utilities um, that already have the infrastructure. They're going to yeah. need to hire workforce that understands social media, that understands you know, how, yeah. what, what are the customer's needs? How do you yeah. communicate with customers, yeah. right? So that's an, an evolution, and I think because of where Africa is and its evolution of deploying utilities, again, there's an opportunity yeah. for folks to come into utilities yeah. and work in those areas. Yeah. The customers, the customers, the most important. Yeah. So that new generation coming up now with, who perhaps have the digital savvy Absolutely. to kind of be able to engage with prosumers Absolutely. nowadays. Yes, exactly. And I think that, again, I think that applies around the world. And in the, in the case of, I think in the case of you, uh, other parts of the world where electric utilities in particular are more built out, um, we're going to have to hire people like that and, and maybe change mindsets. Yes. Whereas yes. here, maybe there's that mindset, you know, you can build that mindset in, right, yes. from the beginning. And I think yeah. that's going to be a great opportunity here. What do you think will be some of the major developments um, in the industrial tele telecommunications sector over the next one to two years? So I think we touched on it a little bit on the previous question, yeah. which is about workforce. Yeah. And how, and, and I think this applies in Africa as well as in other parts of the world. You have an aging workforce. Yeah. And so you have people who are familiar with these technologies um, retiring, mm -hmm. right? particularly on the telecommunications network side. So how do you replace that talent? Um, because the next generation, which is my generation, is a smaller generation. So we're having to pull from the millennial generation yeah. and really make them excited about working for utility. So I think that's, that's a big challenge. Um, so I think that's probably one of the, the, the major areas, but um, also, Big data analytics, I would say, is, is another area where we're going to continue to see an evolution. So what I mean by that is as you deploy these technologies on your system, as you have um, information technology and telecommunications technology on your, on your system, you're getting a lot of information back. Yeah. Um, and if you don't do anything with that information, you're not going to be yeah. able to improve your business. But if you can take that information, collect it, mm -hmm. collect that data, um, analyze it, and then apply it um, to better your business, to create more efficiency within your business. That's, I think, a key area where utilities are starting to really embrace it. But again, they have to hire the right people yeah. to be able to analyze that data. They have to have the right management structure in place to be able to, again, collect it, analyze it, and then apply it back to the business. And I see that as that is an um, evolving area in, in this in this uh, ICT world, okay. so that's what I would say. How would perhaps, I, you know, you said the AUTC started about eight, 18 months ago? Yes. Um, how would utilities in Africa go about contacting you if they oh. wanted to start that conversation? Well, we have a website, um, we have AUTC.org, so yeah. that would be the, that would be the, the easiest way. Okay. Probably the, the, the things that they can remember the most. We have someone here in South Africa yeah. who works for us. So it, you don't have to go to the U.S. or go yeah. elsewhere in the world. So we have someone one here who can then uh, talk more about membership okay. in AUTC and, and those activities. So great, great. Right. Thank you so much, Joy. Thank you thank so you much for sharing. having me. Thank Appreciate you so much for sharing your insight with us today. Again, thank you for having me. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you so much for watching.